Thomas, she's bleeding bad. Going in, man. All right, okay. Yeah, that's wishes to the neck, the head, the arms. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, stay there, okay? Yeah. Don't go any further. There we go. You'll be able to do this. Uh, Toby, we, we got a problem here. Yeah, don't tell me you're stuck. Okay, then. I won't mention it. You're kidding, right? It's over. They're stuck. Copy that. Stand down. Right. Absolutely not. So you're an actress? So you boys could use a hand. All right, so it's not our finest hour, my friend. At least nobody died at something. Well, the day's not over yet. You know, if we don't pass evaluation this week, we could get certified. We'll be fine. We lose certification down to low priority transport. You know what that means? Yeah, we're taxi drivers. No, we're taxi drivers. We've got to be the speed limit. We can't do the speed limit. We can't. In fact, I should double check the rig. We cannot afford to fail inspections. You're right. You're right. You're right. I know I'm the one that got us stuck in here, but you want to help me out here? Or what? You're in an ambulance. What happened? Your apartment blew up. What's your name? Vince. Vince, my name's Toby. My partner's the best driver in the city. We'll get you to the hospital in 10 minutes. Okay, make that five. Oh, man, I don't believe this. It's just not as bad as it looks. No, man, you cut my favorite shirt. All right, I'll get you a new one, man, I promise. <laughs> you got a heart rate of 130, EP 80 systolic, increased breath on the left side. We got burns and lacerations on the head, chest, arms. Hold up. What's the word? Fire's got it under control. How many Vicks? Uh, just a couple. He's the worst of them. This is playset blue. Let's get him to trauma one now. Watch it. Watch the bay. Toby, you're bleeding. Oh. Let me take care of that. What did you do? It's nothing. I just I was near the building when it blew. How'd you manage that anyway? We were like a block away from evaluation. I don't know. I uh, just saw the smoke. Saw the smoke? What are you talking about? Oz, don't you know by now? Just don't ask. Never get a straight answer. Don't go anywhere, okay? I'll stitch you up in a minute. You really gotta get over your Olivia thing. Oh, thank you. Olivia and I are good. Really? Because you're all broken up and done. And still, the ER is thick with moody looks and innuendo. I'm not saying I understand the innuendo. I'm just aware that it exists. All right, well, sorry for ruining the tranquility of your emergency room experience. Hey, either move in or move on. This in-between thing is like a bad haircut. Something you'd know a thing or two about, right? You should come out with me. Start looking around. I could be your wingman. You mean I could be your wingman? It works both ways. That would be nice. 
You know, my uncle always says the best way to get over your troubles is to go out and find some new kind of trouble. That's probably why all my cousins have done time. <laughs> you gotta get that thing looked at before you start uh, bleeding you all over. take a look at okay. it? Okay. Come here, look at all this. Right. Hold still so I can make them strong. So, I hope there's a good story to go with this. Collapsed roof, maybe a little axe wielding action. Wouldn't that work? What? Making a good impression. <laughs> Truth always makes the best impression. Dr. Marsh to triage. Dr. Marsh to triage. In that case, I got my arm jammed in the hose ring and we were pulling out. Actually, maybe a little axe wielding action would have been better. <laughs> hey, it's better than a paper cut on the set of a calendar shoot, right? Uh... You're not. September. Hey, it's for charity. <laughs> hey, Liv. Sorry, oh. I didn't know you was a patient. No, it's okay. Uh, this is Toby Logan and Tom... Crawford. Yeah, we met this morning. Yeah, I was doing standby at the Evals. Way too fun. Okay, Liv. I, uh... Thought maybe you could sew me up. Right. I'll come back later. No, 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 no. It's... That's okay, Toby. You always wait too long for these things, and then it just never heals, right? You gonna live? Uh, it's touch and go. I heard you were one of the first responders to today's fire. We were training nearby. We all got there pretty quick. Uh, Detective Marks? Yes. Hey, I, I have the last of the victim statements from the fire. And I'm gonna head over to Mercy General and follow up on that bus crash. Okay, great. Uh, Toby Logan, this is Kyle Elson from uh, Victim Resources. Oh, hey, 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 you're the guy who got stuck in the car. Yeah, they had to get a fireman to cut him out. No, that wasn't me. No, we all just the same. Let's see how he would think that it was me. Yeah, you're right. Right. Bye. Anything unusual about this fire? No, sad thing is accidental meth lab explosions are pretty usual. Yeah, you guys sure it's a meth lab? Yeah, a kid in the building is a well-known cooker. Uh, gotta wait till he wakes up before we bring him in. Guy by the name of Vince Perel. Vince, his, his last name's Perel? Yeah, why, well, you know? I think he might have told me that when he came in. Okay, well, if you think of anything else, you know where to find me. All right. Yeah. Hey, Rockstar. I'm the medic who brought you in. Hey, man, where do I know you from? I think we spent a couple months together at the Offries. Toby. Dude, you were a badass. Are you kidding me? I still am badass. Just on the weekends now. <laughs> Toby Logan. Man, I don't believe this. We should hook up and hang sometime. You got it, man. You got it. Vince, the cops think you're cooking. They want to bring you in. No, man. I swear I was just hanging out. I don't cook. Not anymore. Until your apartment exploded? <laughs> I had some supplies in the full tank. Yeah, that'll do it. But I, I saw a flame before it blew. It came out of the rat. Before it blew, are you sure? They're gonna pin this on me, man. I can feel it. It wasn't an accident. Fire? Perel didn't start it. And you know this how? He told me. He said he saw a flame before the explosion. Oh, well, if the tweaker said so. Look, inspectors went through the place, all right? Initial report says the explosion is consistent with the meth lab. Finn still had chemicals, but he wasn't cooking. Right? The fire was set. And what makes you think that? I took this my phone. It's inside the heating duct of the unit under Vince's place. I think it's some kind of timer. You went to the building? Yeah, I didn't touch anything. It doesn't matter. You shouldn't have been there. This is a crime scene. OK, and you're looking at the crime. This could be anything. Sorry, but I'm not about to step on anyone's toes based on a blurry picture that I shouldn't even have and on the word of some meth cooking tweaker. Right, okay. don't step on any toes. You might end up doing paperwork a midnight shift.
Whoa, somebody was up all night. Hey, you know there was over 350 cases of arson last year? Actually, I did. We had the second highest rate of set fires in the area after Buffalo. I think they were just trying to stay warm, though. What? I know stuff. Ask me about climate change. I'm like the Turkish Al Gore. Look at this. See that? Five apartment fires downtown in the past six weeks. It's about that crispy dude we brought in yesterday? Cops said he blew his meth lab. Yeah, they're wrong. I know Vince, at least I used to. Cops are just trying to pin it on because it's easy to do. He didn't do it. So I'm gonna give them some options, just in case. Them? You mean the uh, Detective Marks? Yeah, Detective Marks. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm glad you're getting over Olivia, but maybe you want to start with somebody who doesn't carry a gun. All I have is a whole bunch of suspicious fires, and I have no idea who's setting them. Well, Toby, arson is not just something you pick up like strip aerobics. It's usually repeat offenders. Arsonists have to register with the cops. They keep a real close watch on them. So does that mean you give me a list of suspects? If I know where to look, and I do, I know a guy in arson owes me a favor. We'll take care of it. Right now, we got to get to work. Back so soon. Yeah, yeah, you tore some stitches at the gym. Guess you should have taken it easy for a day or two. I hate when that happens. Hey, uh. You know, it's just been a lot of apartment fires downtown lately. Yeah, I guess. Like, more than usual. Actually, you know, some of the guys at the station were talking about that yesterday. Uh, yeah, but they, they think suspicious, or? Suspicious how? Like, they're being set. No, man. I mean, I just put out the fires. The investigators check out all the house and watch. What do you ask? I just thought it was kind of weird, that's all. Tom. I'm ready to see you. So I'll see you later at the uh, driving evaluations. <laughs> right. Well, uh, good luck. I'm trying not to uh, get stuck this time again. Thanks. Yeah. So, what happened? I was working on a pump and something. Hell yeah, big deal. Oh yeah, problem. Big oh, big deal. deal. Oh, big yeah, deal. Yeah. Oh. All right, so we're up next. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah. I took this baby down to my uncle Uppo's garage, got the whole thing power washed. Giving you some of that new car smell stuff. All right, so it's an evaluation. It's not a truck shop. Yeah. I know. If it was a truck show, I would have totally switched out the rims. Huh. I decided to come watch. Hey, I'm sure it's just, you know, breezy conversation between two colleagues. Two hot colleagues. Their sexual prime. Oh, and he's going for the number. And she's giving it. Wow. It's probably just professional courtesy, is what it is, you know, in case yeah. she has any fire-related work questions. See, look, he scared her up. She can't get away fast enough. Going for the cutesy callback. Wow, that is a risky place so early on. That could go either way. And it's good! <laughs> but it's so lame. That is just, I mean, who does that? Seriously, I don't think there's anything in here, but it should be cool. It'll be fine. Mr. Bay, Logan, you're up. Okay. Try not to blow it like yesterday. I am gonna own this course. Absolutely brilliant. Uncle Apple power washed the whole vehicle, but he didn't check the engine. It would appear that way. You know, I asked my uncle up what to make her shine. I didn't say power wash the engine. It's fine, man. Are you in the arson registry? Almost. Let's keep an eye out for Ryder. Enough trouble as it is, he catches me hacking the system. I might as well turn in my uniform. I look good in my uniform. Nice. Come on. There it is. Just where my buddy said to look. Hey, here's something. Wade Richter. Says here he did three years for torching an unfinished condo got out last summer. It's just the basics, but look where he lives. Yeah, around the corner from yesterday's fire. And look, all those fires you're looking into are within 10 blocks of his place. Can you print this? Well, uh, hey, if this info gets you any action with that detective, I want every little detail. All right, thanks, us. Settle for a synopsis. Miss Richter. I'm a friend of Wade's from work. 
Is that Levi? Wade's friend? I'm, I'm Levi. Maybe he mentioned me. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, I'm sorry Wade's not here right now. That's too bad. I, I lent Wade my camping stove. I'm heading up north tonight. I was hoping I could pick it up. Sorry, I'm sure I haven't seen it. I'm planning a little surprise getaway for my girlfriend. Such a nice boy. Can you think of any place that he might, have, might be keeping it? Well, there, there is a place where Wade works on some of his projects. Exactly where you said it would be. Yes, you believe me. I'm just trying to figure out if you put it there before or after the fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you think I did it? Makes sense to me. Paramedic with a hero <sighs> complex. Guy who puts lives in danger so he can rescue them, be the big man. That's insane. And I'm guessing you have the key to this place right now. And a very good reason why you're on private property. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was doing your job. Because you didn't want to take the word of some tweaker who's right by the way. Wade Richter, a convicted pyro, lives in the neighborhood. A few minutes ago, he was upstairs praying at the altar of crazy. Check it out yourself. You realize by you being in the building that the evidence has been contaminated, right? Yeah. Yeah. That is if you decide to tell anyone. All right, I'll look into Richter, but I don't want to see you anywhere near this case. Do you hear me? Loud and clear. You've killed that guy to put some pants on before we got in there? I was, he threw his back out. It's really hard to... Yeah, well, I got whiplash from trying not to look at his junk. Yeah, I saw you look, though. Maybe I can get workman's comp. <laughs> yeah, mental anguish. Hey, what happened with that firebug guy you were looking into? Well, I gave the cops his name. They're going to look into it. And? And uh, it's not going to take him long to realize that he was the guy starting all the fires. And? To make an impression on Detective Marks. Come on, give me something. Why don't you show me your gun? That's hot. Drive. Dr. McKenzie to OR3. Dr. McKenzie to OR3. I got it. That's one they had. Dude, you didn't have to. I keep my promises, the inexpensive ones at least. <laughs> Hey, you know, if you need anything, Vic Resources will help you out. Call people. Dude, you know I got no family. How about a friend? A girl? Ah, oh, man, I'm solo. Heather. What about Heather? You mentioned her name a couple times while you are out of it. Oh, yeah. She's just a girl I knew. OK, I get it. Conquest, no last names. Oh, man. This girl's all right. She's the coolest chick I ever met. So, uh, why isn't she here? What happened? I got issues, you know? Not the easiest person to be around. I didn't want to drag her into my screwed up life. She deserves better, you know? Yeah, believe me, man, I do. Besides, I'm too young and sexy to be tied down. Look at me rocking these bandages, man. I'm sizzling. I hear you, and it's totally your call. But if you do uh, change your mind, you just take my number and call. Totally confidential. It's the office. You just call. Dr. Stevens. 
Thank you. Okay. Hey, Kyle. Hey. How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, I was wondering if you could find a Heather Wallace. Uh, who? She's a friend of Vince Perel's. I think she might be a waitress. Okay, one of his buddies? Just somebody I think you should talk to. Great. Give me a address and number. That's sad. Uh, that's all I've got. Well, listen, man, I just don't think I have time to run around town looking for a girl who uh, might not exist for a guy who probably got what he deserved anyway. I know what you think, but I don't think Vince did it. Cops actually think it might be arson. Come on, man. The guy's in rough shape. Okay, well, Toby, I'll do what I can. And, uh, I just can't promise anything. All right. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Dr. Finally, some company. Not very smart, Wade. Using your uncle's old warehouse as your little art project. Don't know what you're talking about. What do you call this? Therapy. Keeps the urges down. Most of them. Officers are searching the warehouse and your mom's place right now. And I think you know what it is that they're gonna find. Maybe something like this? I found this at the Torch Department in your neighborhood the other day. I don't know anything about that. Oh, I think you do. Because it's exactly like the one you used in that condo fire. So you'd hook up one of these to the igniter hidden in the vent, then you'd attach the crepe paper streamers. Really, Wade? Streamers? That way, when it lights, it spreads everywhere. Plastic melts. Impossible to trace when it's done right. Then you need to be more careful because your name's written all over this fire. Then somebody's trying to set me up. Right, because you paid your dues. Fully recovered, no more urges. See this timer? Can't be set any more than 12 hours in advance. The day of that fire, I was doing back-to-back -back shifts in Burlington. Only half hour for lunch. There's no way I could have done this. Check it out. Tom, we're gonna set up trios across the street in case there's multiple fix. I'm afraid I'll do it again. What are you looking at? Let's go. Right, I'll do it again. Okay, it's Thursday night, we got options. The Riv has bands, $10 cover, they could suck. Beaver Bank's probably packed, but it's all college girls, so it's like, OMG, LOL, chug, 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 do you like me as a person? The Mac? It's all drag queens and hot girls who like drag queens, but think about this. There's a distinct advantage to being the only straight guys in that place. So, that's my little theory on that. You know what? I always would like to go here. The Maddie. What's here? Okay, pretty nice place. Hey, hey, check out who it is. Toby, what are you doing here? Ah, I just blowing off some steam, you know. 
Thought you were busy tonight. I was. But... Hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? How's it hey, going? Good, good, good. About to get a lot better. <laughs> Want to join us? Yeah. You're driving me crazy. Get lost. All right, speaking of truck, you guys want another round? I'm in. Where's Oz, anyway? Uh, I think he's uh, looking at his next project. Uh, I should probably stick around, make sure he does okay. Mm -hmm. I search a Richter's place if not to show anything. I know. What about his alibi? His boss called an hour ago, said he'll sign an affidavit proving Richter never left. So why the hell is he still holding? Because, Brian, I know he had something to do with it. The, the timers, the streamers, the initial report matches his demo perfectly. Maybe you just don't like to get wrong. You know anyone who does? Cut him loose. Turn it over to ours. If anything turns up, they'll know where to find him. Hey. You know that the cops say uh, they think that fire the other day might be set? It uh, might be connected to some others. Oh, yeah? I just find it kind of crazy that someone would set a fire like that and put heroes like you in danger. If you only knew. So cowardly to just sit back like that, knowing that people are gonna get hurt. I have to face this now. You ready to go? <clears throat> Actually, I gotta another shift. Well, I should swing my station. Can I grab your can? Sure. Whatever. Good night. Good night. It's me. Toby. Are you following me? I know what you did, man. I know about the fires. What the hell are you talking about? I know you set the fires. I know you want to be a big hero. Yeah, and you probably burned this building too. You're here to relive it, man. Get off on it. I didn't start any damn fires. Okay. But why the hell are you here? I'm sorry. Yeah, fine. Whatever. No, I saw you with someone and I acted like an idiot. Yeah, we had company. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, Tom's probably a good guy. He's just going through some stuff. Thanks, but I don't need your approval. It's true. Oh, look at that. Kyle found Vince's ex. I did, actually. I had to twist his arm, but he finally coughed up her number. How'd you do that? 
I convinced him that no matter what he'd done, how bad he'd messed up in the past, I'm sure that she cared about him. Thank you. Thanks. I'll be out for the rest of the day. You got a date? You're wearing Hugo and in your shirt. Where are you taking her? Susser. Susser, so this is what, your third date now? You still got Rector's file. Yeah, one last look before I turn it over. You got other cases, so move on, Charlie. we Will do, first thing in the morning, promise. Okay, we got one more eval. Full run-throughs of CPR, cardiac arrest, and choking. Should be easy peasy. We do this by the book, no improvising. All right. We got an hour till Ryder shows up, run through this stuff. Be a piece of cake. Sounds good, man. Hey, are you with me on this or what? Dude, you're not even dressed. Man, we need this one. Otherwise, we're going to be manning the geriatric rickshaw. Sorry, man. I was just thinking about Vince. You know, growing up in foster care, a few different choices. It could have been me in the hospital. Yeah, but you made the right choices. He didn't. Eventually, people get what's coming to them. Sorry, I know you knew the dude, but you play with meth, you're going to get burned. Sometimes innocent victims aren't so innocent. Probably got what he deserved anyway. Hey, Toby. How are you? Good, right? What are you doing? I had a consultation in the hospital. Oh, yeah? Hey, actually, uh, I could use a consultation myself. Uh-huh. What's bothering you? Well, I've been getting a lot of weird hits lately. What do you know about arsonists? Serial arsonists? Now, they have their own profile. Often male, under stress, difficulty forming relationships, need for empowerment. Well, how does that work? They like the attention, the excitement. And some of them do it because they actually think they're making things better. Well, they're improving things. The fire clears the undergrowth. Probably our first weapon after the club. Thanks, Ray. You know where to find me. Hey, where are you going? I gotta go check something out. We'll be back in an hour, though, right? you know, all these victims, you just bring them in and drop them off. You don't know anything about them, I know. Vic's like Tyler Moss, he's a 15-year-old kid. Smart, it's pretty funny. Walking home, he's run over by a drunk driver. He's paralyzed from the neck down. Same day, Sarah Martin uh, stabbed uh, in the stomach by her boyfriend. She didn't want to press charges because she didn't want him to get in trouble. Yeah, yeah months later, she's dead. It's complications, it's just... There are hundreds and hundreds all these people beaten and robbed, raped by their loved ones again and again. And, well, you know what happens. Nothing. Nothing. There's no charges, no arrests, nothing that even comes close to justice. We can get you out. No, no, I, I, I am not the one who needs help. They're the ones who need help. And I'm, uh, I'm not everyone who just sits around and listens. You hurt those people, Kyle. Only the ones who needed to pay. It's not up to you. It's not. No. I had to do it. And I've done it again and again. There's another one? Where's it, Kyle? People need to pay! Kyle!
Where's that building with the red and blue carpet? What? What carpet? You know, the one that, the carpet that made you dizzy when we picked up the cardiac arrest. Oh my God. Okay, meet me there with the rig and call fire. Logan, what the hell's going on? We gotta get everyone out of here. There's gonna be another fire. Go to the top floor, start getting people out of here. Hello? Hey! Sure, you got a place to stay? He's gonna be crashing for me until he finds a new place. I have a really comfy couch for him. Well, it looks like I, the cops are off my ass, so I'll be getting some insurance money out of this whole thing. That's good, because next time we go out, drinks are on you. You got it. Thanks, man. Yeah. I'll call you. Yeah, I look forward to it. Take care of yourself. You gotta take care of her, too, all right? You might want to know that we connected Kyle to five more fires. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Seems the target in each case was someone we had arrested before, but just couldn't put a case against him. Kind of like your buddy Vince Perel. That's Vince now. Guess you're not the only one who thought police could do the work. So tell me, how did you know about that last fire? I could smell the smoke. Like you were just walking by and could smell it. Yeah, I was walking by. <laughs> Next time? Call the fire department. Don't stop.